to the town of Agua Fria, rode a stranger one fine day. Hardly spoke to folks around him, didn't have too much to say. No one dared to ask his business, no one dared to make a slip. The stranger there among them had a big iron on his hip. It was early in the morning when he rode into the town. He came riding from the south side, slowly looking all around. He's an outlaw, loose and running, came a whisper from his lips. He said, I'm here to do some business with the big iron on my head. In this town there lived an outlaw by the name of Texas Red. Well, many men had tried to take him, those many men were dead. Well, he's vicious and a killer, oh, a youth of 24. The notches on his pistol counted one in 19 more, they counted one in 19. Well, the strangers started talking, he made it plain to folks around. I was an Arizona Ranger, wouldn't be too long in town. He came here to take the outlaw back alive or maybe dead. He said it didn't matter. He was after Texas Red. He was after Texas Red. It wasn't long before the story was related to Texas Red. But the outlaw didn't worry. All the men who tried to forward dead. Twenty men had tried to take him. Twenty-one had made that slip. Twenty-one would be the ranger with the big iron on his hip. With the big iron on his hip. so quickly it was time for them to meet it was 20 past 11 when they walked out in the street folks were watching from their window everybody held their breath about to meet his death. There were 20 feet between them when they went to make their play. And the swiftness of the ranger is still talked about today. Red had not cleared leather when a bullet fairly ripped, and the ranger's aim was deadly with the big iron on his hip. It was over in a moment, and the crowd had gathered round. There before them lay the body of the outlaw on the ground. 
Well, he might have gone on living, but he made one fatal slip. Tried to match the ranger with a bigger on his hip. With a bigger.